In this tutorial, you will learn how to create functional climbable ladders. And there are two parts to this process. Step one is the visual representation of a ladder, a climbable surface. This could be a prop static, a set of BSP brushes, or a texture. And all this is, is just a way for the player to know that they can climb up. Second step is a BSP brush with a developer ladder texture applied that allows the player to actually climb up. This texture and this brush are invisible in-game, but this creates functionality of a climbable surface. And you would usually place this in front of the ladder. So let's go ahead and run through this process. I'm going to delete everything I have. So we start fresh. We first need a representation of a climbable surface. Let's insert a prop static. Go to Entity Tool and choose Prop Static. Insert it into your level. Switch back to Selection Tool. Double click on the Prop Static to go to Object Properties and go to World Model. Search for Ladder. Find the Prop Static that you like. Double click and click Apply. Let's go ahead and position it on our BSP wall. Next, let's go into Object Properties, double click on Prop Static, and we want to disable collision to not solid. We do not want the player to collide and be blocked by this Prop Static. Next, let's go to BSP Brush Tool, click on Browse, and search for Ladder Texture. Select this ladder texture right here, Tools Invisible Ladder, and now create a brush in front of this prop static. This brush has to be the same size in height and in width. So we need to make sure that this ladder brush reaches the very top of the BSP wall where the player is going to climb up to and it touches the bottom of the ground. And inside view, we just want to make sure that it's just right in front of the climbable surface. And once you have it sized, press enter. And at this point, you are done. This ladder texture will make the player climb up and you do not need to tie this ladder brush to a function ladder. This was used in previous versions of the editor and in other games. But in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, all you need to do is leave this brush as a world brush. And you do not want to tie this to a function ladder entity. Also, it's best to apply the ladder texture to all six faces of the brush, but it will also work on a single face of the brush. Now, all that's left is to compile and test. Now, this specific prop had a weird shadow on the wall, and it has nothing to do with that ladder. But to fix this, go to Prop Static Properties, and disable shadows. And this is all you have to do. You now have a working functional ladder. For the rest of the tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to have a brush based ladder and a texture based ladder. For brushed based ladder, I just simply create a set of brushes and arrange them to look like a ladder. I choose wooden texture and I resize the brushes to make it look like a climbable surface. Again, this is just a visual representation to let the player know that they can climb up here. But this doesn't actually allow the player to climb up. I duplicate each brush to create a pattern and I arrange them better. Now let's select all of these individual BSP brushes. Left click to select, hold down control and left click to add to a selection and tie it to entity. You can turn this to function detail and you want to do this for any objects that are created from multiple small BSP brushes. But in that case, we want to turn this to function brush. Click apply. And this will allow us to set collision. And we can switch this off under solidity and never solid. This will help to when the player comes up these BSP brushes will not block the player.
There are other ways of doing so by using no clip brush, but this is simple and very effective. Now let's close this and we're going to duplicate this ladder brush and position it right here in front of our brush based ladder. Let's go to top view, hold down shift and left click to duplicate this brush. And we're going to position it and overlap it with our function brush. And for our third and final way is to use the ladder texture. This is a texture that you apply onto a BSP brush that looks like a ladder or another climbable surface. And then you apply that texture onto a BSP brush. So here I'm using the developer ladder texture and I'm scaling and positioning that texture to fit and align to a BSP brush. And now let's grab this brush, go to top view, hold shift, duplicate it and position it so it sticks out in front of this BSP brush. Go back to perspective. We need a ladder texture. Hold down shift and right click to apply the ladder texture across the entire brush. We now have the ladder texture and the actual ladder so the player knows to climb up. And the reason we are sticking this out a little further is because this is a regular BSP brush so it will have collision and by sticking this brush out a little further it ensures that the player will be able to climb up. If it's intersecting and inside the BSP brush then the ladder brush will not work. Our last step is to save the map and compile to test.